Good morning everyone. We have a very very cheerful and happy me. I mean I don't see why not. It is a beautiful day, very sunny, but it is not as hot. So we are in 70s, which is if you're in LA, like below 70 is like cold, like it's sweater weather. So as a result, we have a huge H&M uh, fall haul. I mean, is it huge? Mm, so am I. I'll show it to you guys, obviously. Um, I'm really liking how my makeup is looking today. Even though I've done it very early in the morning, it was I think seven o'clock I was doing my makeup already. I wasn't in my schedule to work out today. Um, that sounds very official. But like basically I try to take breaks every two days. Like after a leg day and an arm day, I take a break. And then again, leg day and arm day, take a break. Leg day and arm day, take a break. So that's how I do my workout. So today was a no workout day. So I woke up super early for regular programming. And then I spent a little bit more time on Pinterest and reading my book, two of my favorite things to do. And then got ready for the day. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing right now as well. As much as I'm loving my makeup, I'm not loving my hair. I'm having a very difficult time with my hair recently. I don't know what it is. I don't know how I like to style it. Do I go short or do I go long? It's a length that I don't know how to curl. I mean, I know how to curl, but I personally like more of a straight hair. Um, but yeah, I'm confused on how to style my hair, basically. Um, I was texting Anya the other day. I was like, we need to do something about my hair. She's like, your hair issue is not your hair color. Your issue is your hair length. So what would you like me to do? I'm like, should we put in extensions? She's like, absolutely not. We're not putting in extensions. You can put in clippings because if you guys remember last year, I put extensions in and when I took it out, I was probably depressed for like a month month and a half because it was the time that i was losing my hair after my weight loss surgery and at the same time obviously you lose a little bit of hair when you take your extensions out um so yeah all of that together was very overwhelming for me so that's why she was like nope we're not doing that um just put in your clip-ins so i put like two of my clip-ins this morning like the side ones and i don't know i just gave it a little curl so yeah um that's the situation with the hair i haven't had breakfast yet and i am very 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 hungry so i am going to make myself a coffee um second coffee and uh breakfast and then we're gonna get to the clothing i'll try them on for you guys um per regular programming i'm not gonna style them because i want to style these items on my instagram so make sure you follow my instagram so you guys can see how i style this um but i will for sure try them on for you guys because i feel like there's no point of showing the items to you guys my items were falling uh, i know it is still early i know but fall fashion obviously is one of my favorite fashions and i'm sure favorite of many of you guys so that's what i was like i need to do this early because especially with h&m products items sell out so quickly i try to upload these h&m hauls as soon as i get them the shipping takes like two weeks two weeks and a half and obviously with filming and editing so it's like three weeks of separation and like that gives me anxiety sometimes i'm like i need to upload this as soon as possible because i'm scared the items will sell out and what is the point of doing a try on haul if the, all the items are sold out i have noticed that if you sign up for their notifications so they know that people want this item specifically they bring it back there were so many times that i signed up for a dress um maybe out of like 10 times that i signed up for an item to be back in a stock a couple of times they didn't come back to stock um so yeah just for sure if the items are sold out make sure you uh, put your email in so when it comes back in stock they can let you know because sometimes happen that there is a return of an item so the stock will come back in so that's a little tip for you guys who shop online a lot so always put your email in so yeah we will get into the haul but first things first let's go eat breakfast because i am starving before getting into the haul i just want to show you guys my today's otd i'm wearing this um top from zara this is from last year and i'm wearing my qvc and hunters all worthy um skirt i absolutely love this skirt it's such an easy 
uh, but like it looks put together and stylish kind of um, skirt and obviously I can wear it during summer and you can wear it during winter as well so I am absolutely loving it I'm wearing my chain and necklace from Amazon and this one is Lily clasp my usual earrings and rings um, so yeah here is today's OOTD it is a cloudy and sunny day at the same time so i'm so sorry if the light keeps changing a very weird weather you guys have no idea how excited i am about this um i always take out the products and try them on so when i'm talking to you guys i know what i'm saying since we know i'm horrible at describing stuff so i've already tried <clears throat> all of the items on so i'm gonna just start showing it to you guys and then i'll do the try on for you to start off we have the chunkiest coziest heaviest sweater ever very 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 cutesy cable knit is that what they're called i think yes it is very thick like i get it i live in la and i don't knit this kind of um, knitwear uh, but i'm cold 24 7 literally 24 7 so that's why i went with this one and it is a little bit crop um, so I think it will look very cute with jeans. I'll try it on for you guys and I'll show it to you But this is one of my favorite items. Um, the only thing that I would say I don't Absolutely love about this is that it's so heavy, but I get it with being this thick. It should be heavy So this is one of the first items um, I will insert all of the try-ons at the end in case you're wondering um, then we have this very cute Pink sweater this is one of the lightest sweaters that I have in this entire collection um, it has semi balloon sleeve not completely like it's um, big on the bottom big on the bottom big on <laughs> the sleeve and then goes um, towards the wrist it gets more narrow but it's not too balloony and the cutest thing about it is it ties at the back and you can just see this much of your back. It's very, very cute. And for some reason, I really like the color. You guys know I'm not a very much of a color person, but I absolutely loved it. And it is super soft, super soft. Um, this one is a size large as well. I got everything in a size large. If it's not large, I will let you guys know. Um, then onto my neutral palette. Um, I was watching Lydia's vlog this morning and it's so funny that we have so many items that she got it i got it as well i was like this is why i love her um i saw her buying this as well and i have a couple of other items that i saw in her haul too um which were just it just made my heart happy so the next item is this very cute sweater um i saw her wearing it one shoulder which is i'm like that's a great idea i was thinking of wearing it like bardo style but uh, the one shoulder thing is actually cuter than the bardo it is a super soft material obviously the color is perfection it's like the neutral dream um so i got this the only thing with this is this is a size large too but i wish i got it in a medium oh it's actually medium this is a medium um then i think i should go for a small but I think that would be too small. I'll try it on for you guys. It's not loose. I think the style is on more of a looser side, but I feel like if it was a little bit more fitted on this area, this would look a little bit better, uh, but I'll try it on for you guys so you guys can see. So that's that. Then we are going to one of my favorite items that I've seen so many people already wearing it. Um, I saw my friend Tara was wearing the black one um, and I saw Lydia wearing it as well. It is this brown square neck um, sweater with balloon sleeves. How cute is this? Like literally my style. Um, so I got this, obviously I had to go for a brown one because it's just the color palette is perfection. Um, this is a super soft one as well. I don't find any of the H&M um, knitwear and like um, winter clothes um, irritating. Like you don't itch basically when you're wearing them. They're super soft. I don't know why is my voice so raspy. <clears throat> I think it's still because too early in the morning. <laughs> then we have another thick and chunky sweater that probably I will only wear for like one month here because obviously in LA we don't get like it's not that cold we get cold it is cold during winter time but it's not like other countries um, but I want to wear cozy stuff 
so yeah uh, here is a sweater dress that i absolutely fell in love with it it's like a light uh pink color like really muted baby pink it picks up on camera a little bit more pink than it actually is um, it's more of a nude pink um, it's super cute goes all the way to the knees and it has like little slits on the side um, I was thinking that with the belt this would look very cute but I honestly haven't tried a belt with it so I'll try it and I will let you guys know how I feel about it uh, what are these on it mm. this is one of the heavier um, items as well uh, but obviously considering the fact that it is so thick i'm not surprised the next item is a very basic sweater that is super soft this feels like a cashmere but it is not cashmere i mean i don't think it is no okay i don't have time to go through all of that just letting you know it's super soft it's very basic like round neck and just regular sweater you know sometimes when you just want to feel cozy it's just a basic sweater and obviously the color is super neutral so you can match it up with a lot of things um, it's so soft um, so that's that um, the next item is this very cute dress again a sweater one um, this is really heavy like compared to those toe I don't know what it is this is like it weights down so probably I won't be able to even hang this because I feel like it's gonna lose its shape um, it is balloon sleeve again sorry I was trying it on so that's why the sleeve is like this um, and it's super cute in the front it's a little bit more revealing than I would like it to be um, but I will still keep it and wear it because it's super cute I love how narrow the sleeves get because it doubles the effect of the uh, balloon sleeve so I am absolutely in love with this dress I'll obviously try it on for you guys this one goes all the way up to my knees as well and the last clothing item is this dress that again I saw Lydia wearing it um, it is a beautiful beautiful dress and um, I don't know if I told you guys I think I did uh, my friend's wedding is coming up next month and I have a very hard time finding a dress and closing these clips what are these things called I don't know okay that it um so yeah um i have a very hard time finding a dress because the style of the dress that i want is not it's not that it's difficult but it's apparently unique because i can't find it anywhere i just want something that is chic enough but casual enough i don't want it to be like a gown gown i like it to be a summery gown um, I don't know how to explain it. I was looking for more of a something more of on a floral kind of category, but not too floral. Um, I have this dress from Nordstrom that I got months ago. I think in from I got it in March, and sadly it's a little bit big on me, so I can't wear it. Um, that's the thing with the items that I got very early on um, when the pandemic happened. Most of the items are already big on me and i can't wear it that dress is beautiful and sadly sold out so i can't even buy the smaller size uh, i'm sure you guys know which one i'm talking about i'll insert the picture of it here i posted on my instagram it's a very beautiful dress but sadly i didn't get to wear it more than once basically so after my long ramble um the story behind the dress was i was like i'm just gonna get this dress in case i didn't find anything i feel like this is a very beautiful one the only issue that i have with it that i can't wear it not that i can't but i might prefer not to wear it at the wedding is because it's very much closed off for like a summery kind of wedding um it's a very high neck satin dress it's a very beautiful blush nude color if there was a color that i, I had my name on it it would be this it's like a nudish pink color it has a very cute tie at the back as well and the back is just slightly open like the this much of it is open so probably it's gonna be a no bra kind of situation but i will try it on and um i'll show it to you guys the next item is sadly an item that didn't fit me i was very hopeful for this because it just looked very very cute and i am upset it doesn't fit me probably i have to size up in it um i'm usually a size 12 when it comes to etrona but 
this didn't fit me it is a size 12 it is this very cute um, leather looking pants one thing i absolutely love about this and not all of the leather pants come like this is the lining of it if you guys can see inside it has the softest material so it's not uncomfortable to wear so it has this full leather look obviously uh, but it is not uncomfortable to wear um, which is one of my favorite ones i have a pair of um brown leather uh pants that i got from boohoo last year they're very very cute but their inside is not as soft as this is so while i'm wearing it it's a little bit uncomfortable to pull it off i'm a little bit upset that this didn't fit me because i feel like it will look very cute um it is not skinny um it is like straight leg i'll insert of the model wearing it so you guys have an idea of it since this one doesn't fit me um but i will probably go ahead and order a um, bigger size or maybe even two size up because this was very tight on me and we will see how it works um, the next item that i got from them is this very cute belt um, i have been looking for a luxury one to invest in um but everything that i like either they don't have my size that's the thing with luxury brands that they go to a limited size and either they don't have my size or it is out of stock or they don't have the color that i want or they don't have the texture that i want so i've been having a really hard time finding a belt um so i saw this that was super simple and like um chic looking especially with jeans i feel like it will look really good um i have a very small waist compared to my hips so i always need a belt um, to cinch in the waist if not my like pants or jeans are always loose around the waist um so that's why i got this because i really like how simple and like chic it looks and i absolutely love the texture of it um it's like snake skin kind of situation is that what they're called i don't know i'm horrible at describing things um i should learn the terms better there's this person on tiktok called Lindsay. um i think she's a designer i'm sure you guys know who am i talking about she's a very beautiful lady with blonde hair and um, she teaches a lot about um fashion trends like yesterday she was teaching the patterns that i'm like horrible at describing um so i learned those from her um i will link her tiktok for you guys like in the description box below for sure check her out um because if you're a fashion lover like i am um it's good to know like the names of this stuff so when you're describing you know what you're talking about but anyway long story short i got this belt it's super cute i got it in a size extra large because i didn't know how they run um i haven't tried this on yet so let's see i am wearing a denim um skirt right now it's actually big on me i need to go a size smaller <laughs> can you guys see like this is how big it is it comes all the way up oh this is on the smallest hole but it is still big around my waist I hope this is going to be available for me to purchase a smaller size. That's the belt and the next item that I got that I haven't even tried on, I'm probably not going to try it on and this is going to be a return item as the sneakers. Um, I've started loving the chunky sneaker trend but I don't want to spend a ton of money on the designer one because it's just a trend and I'm not going to wear it years after years. I mean, I think so. Um, yeah, it is a very trendy item and it's not an item that I personally like because I like more of a feminine looks and I feel like these are a little bit too chunky for my liking. I have a chunky um, sneakers from Boohoo that I got last year. Um, they are still chunky uh, sneakers, but they're not as chunky as these are. I fell in love with the color palette of these, as we can see, the neutral colors. I haven't even tried it on. As I said, I don't even know how they look um, on me, but they're just, just looking at them. I don't like them in person. In picture, they looked very cute. Um, but yeah this is going to be a return because it's too chunky and too heavy and the last item that i got from h&m are these two silk looking um um hair ties you guys know i love my um silk scrunchies but they lose um their um elasticity so quickly and there's no way to get it back these are actual ties so they, they will, these will why can't i speak today um so don't use this if you don't want a dent in your hair but i feel like for making a bun since i have very little hair i don't think oh yeah these are pure silk actually i didn't think this would be a pure silk but they are pure silk so they're good for your hair 
but yeah these are the last items i got from h&m i have one more item from zara to show you guys i was like since i'm doing all fashion haul i'll show you guys these shoes as well as soon as i saw this online i was like i need to get this in the picture they looked a little bit more nude uh, versus even in camera it looks nude but in person they have a very gray undertone uh, but I absolutely love them I love the fact that they're block heel and they're so thick so they're gonna be super comfortable it has a zipper on the side so you can easily wear it and um, I tried on this pair I haven't tried on this one yet so as you guys can see I loosened the band a little bit um, so it's a little bit more comfortable and I love the fact that they are square at the end because I feel like they're very Chloe looking ones. Um, and these were in 90 bucks, not the cheapest, but Zara Cruz have a really good quality. Um, I feel like this is a very statement and cute one that I can match it with a lot of outfits. Like I can wear it with jeans, with dresses, with like tons of stuff I can wear them. I will try this on for you guys with one of the items so you guys can see how it looks on me. These are all the items that I got from H&M and just the one item from Zara. Let's try all these items on so you guys can see how they look on me. Here is how the um, sweater is looking. It is on the oversized kind of um, scale, but I personally like it because I like to wear it like off the shoulder like this. Um, it's just one of my favorite ways to wear it and I've seen um, Victoria from In The Fro wear her sweaters like this, like the, the ones that have a, like cardigans? Yeah, cardigans. Um, she always wear her cardigans off the shoulder so I kind of just learned from her and I find it very flattering and cute. Um, the sleeves are super long but I like the chunky look of it that you can just like have it like this, it just feels cozy. Um, so here is the first item. I am in love with the color of this and it is not like me to like a sweater this color uh, but it is this very cute pink sweater I tied it in the back I don't know if you guys can see it well um, I didn't do the best job but as you guys can see it is a little bit open here uh, but if you're wearing like high waisted it's not gonna show as much because like this skirt is pretty high waisted right now that I'm wearing um, so um, this is how it looks. I feel like with jeans, like jeans bottoms or even with like um, beige color pants, they will look so cute. Here is how it looks and I really like the color. Here is the next sweater and this is how it looks. Lydia was wearing it one shoulder and I personally really like that. I just didn't tuck it in so you guys can see how long it is in case you want to wear it with pants. Um, I really like how this looks one shoulder. You can even bring it a little bit like lower. I can't do this with one hand but yeah like this like you guys get the idea. Um, or you can just wear it like bordeaux, however you like. I really liked how Lydia styled it like this. I feel like with like jewelry, it just looks really nice. Probably for this, I'll go for a statement earring instead of necklaces. I feel like it just would look a little bit better. Um, but as I said, this is super soft and comfortable. I didn't tuck in this sweater as well, so you guys can see how long it is. But how adorable is this? I am in love with this, like literally in love with this. It is so, so, so cute and it's just the perfect color. It just looks absolutely beautiful. I have nothing else to say about this. I love every little detail. This is one of the items that I don't know how I feel about it. I really like how basic it is and I feel like I can wear it with the different things or I can just wear it like simple like this on a casual day. Um, but I personally don't like how this areas look. I feel like they're a little bit too loose, but I'm scared to size down in it because like the sleeves are pretty tight like at the end. Um, so I don't know. I just feel like it makes me look a little bit wider and not I don't I don't have any issues with this area, but I feel like this area can be a little bit like tighter i don't know i might order a size down but not return this until i receive the other one and see how that one will fit me uh, because i love everything about this like all the other places i really like it's just this area that i have a little bit of an issue with so probably yeah that's what i'll do i'll order a size smaller and see how that will look I feel like this is the coziest and the comfiest sweater dress I've ever had. 
it is so cute i really really like it um, my idea of it was cinched in at the waist with the belt um, but i just looked through my collection i don't have a belt that will go nicely with this maybe like a black one i actually have a black one that will look nice with this um, but yeah, I will style it for you guys again on my Instagram, but I really 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 like it um, This area is a little bit too high up and sometimes I get claustrophobic uh, But if it's really cold, I really don't mind it um, But I really really like it. It's super soft and it goes right above my knee basically. I'm wearing like pink slippers right now so like This is a perfect cozy outfit for like fall I'm in love with the color of this dress. It is the richest brown that has like a gray undertone. It is not like warm undertone, which is very surprising because I usually love a brown that is rich in um, orange undertone, but this one is like more towards gray undertone. Um, it's more of a charcoal color, but with a brown hint. Does that even make sense? Um, it's such a beautiful dress. As I said, it's a little bit more revealing than I would like it to be, but I will still keep it and wear it. I love how like poofy the sleeves are. It's very, very, very cute. It's it's just beautiful. It sits really nicely. This one is just a little bit shorter than the other one. It goes above my knee, but I personally like don't mind it. I feel like with um, um, booties, this will look adorable, the ones that I have from Zara. I'll try it on for you guys now. Here is how the booties are looking. They're absolutely beautiful. You guys can see the color difference better since our flooring is a little bit warm tone. You guys can see these have a little bit of a cooler undertone, but I personally really like it. I feel like it will go with more of my stuff since they're such a neutral color. Um, and yeah, I'm absolutely loving them. Please ignore the bruises on my knees. Um, those are the result of working out and having a very sensitive skin. Um, everywhere I hit, I bruise basically, and I work out on my knees a lot for like leg workouts so yeah those are the result of that um but yeah i really like it how it looks with this dress i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of use out of these booties they're super comfortable as well and as i said if you have like wide feet um you can just open up the ties like i open them up just a little bit um and they will fit you perfectly um i'm wearing a size nine and i'm usually a size eight and a half nine but when it's like close to shoes i always go for a nine so yeah here is how the booties are looking you guys have no idea how much i'm loving this dress it is so 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 beautiful it's just a little bit big on me just a little bit so i don't think a size is smaller I mean, actually, yeah, a size a smaller would fit better. Just to start it up a little bit so you guys can see how it looks, I put in my blue Manolo Blahniks on, and I feel like it looks so cute. Like, I love the waist, I love the sleeve, I love the neck. I absolutely love, love, love the back. I'm not sure if you guys can see the back, but this is how the back is looking. I feel like it's a little bit loose, that's why it opens up. And so if it's a little bit tighter, this will close a little bit better and it will sit a little bit more straight. Um, so that's why I feel like it's best to just return it and get a size smaller. So this area will fit better as well. I have this like sticky tape things. I got it off of Amazon. I'll link it for you guys in the description box below. Um, they are not the best ones out there. So like they're a little bit uncomfortable to wear. Uh, but those are the only ones that I found that work remotely good for a no bra kind of situation. Um, so I'll link them for you guys in the description box below. But I absolutely love this dress. It's just, I feel like a size smaller will look a little bit better. Like, yeah, just the size smaller. Um, but I am in love with it. It is so beautiful. I don't know how, but I totally forgot to show you guys this dress while I was showing you the items a little bit earlier. Um, I wore this dress yesterday, so it was in my room, so that's why I forgot about it. Uh, but here is a t-shirt dress that is very short, and probably I need to buy a size bigger. Uh, but I'm still gonna keep this because it's super comfortable. If you have a size larger, I'll order a size bigger just to see if it's gonna be a little bit longer. Uh, but I'm gonna still keep this because I feel like with thigh high boots, it will look very cute with the jacket on top of it. Um, so I personally really like it. I absolutely love, love, love the details on the shoulders. Um, I feel like with necklaces, it will look very cute. Like I would go for a little bit of a longer necklace. Um, 
you can layer it as well you can just wear a longer one here um i feel like it will look very cute um i very rarely wear black um it's just not my favorite color i try to go for more of a neutral kind of situation but once in a while i like a black keep it in mind it is a mini dress so it's pretty um short I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I just wanted to show you guys the new items in. I know you guys are as excited as I am for the fall fashion. I can't believe in just two months I get to decorate the house for Christmas. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. And I know it might scare some people off. I know not everyone is about that life, but if you're familiar with me and my channel, you know Christmas is the time that I thrive, basically. Um, so I'm very, very excited for it. And um, I feel like with this year that we all had, it was a heavy year. It was a very, very heavy year. And I feel like we need a little bit of happiness and goodness. And Christmas is just like that. Got me rambling on even more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will link everything for you guys in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.